Now, the Tamil Nadu governor has once again reignited the NEET debate. On Saturday, he categorically said that he will never clear the state government's anti-NEET bill, even now as it is awaiting the president's assent. It has drawn very strong response from the ruling DMK and its ally, the CPI. The DMK said that the governor is a rubber stamp and he is trying to play a larger constitutional role. Also said that NEET is a scam by the union government. The governor said the achievements of the national entrance eligibility test are not enough for the future. The qualifying test is here to stay and vouch for the kids to be competitive. He categorically said that in a response to a, to a parent who sought the governor's clearance to ban NEET, said that he will not do this, at least in the state of Tamil Nadu. Very frankly, I will never need clearance to meet. Let it be very clear. Anyway, I am going to the president because it is a subject of concurrent list. It is a subject for which only the president is competent to give the clearance. But given to me, I shall never give it this year. Why this? Because I like my children to go. And I tell you for sure, there are many students who are doing it without coaching. Who is this governor to give approval? Who is he thinking he is? Is he elected by the people? What role has he got as per the constitution? Does he think he is a governor in British India? He is a governor in a democratic run uh, country. He is a governor as per our constitutional democracy, as per the constitution. It is the duty. It is mandatory on the part of the governor. He is a rubber stamp. If he has let, left a bit of shame in him, he will resign by now and run away from the state of Tamil Nadu. My colleague Pramod is now joining me on the story. Pramod, once again, it is the governor versus the government in the state of Tamil Nadu this time. The reason why they both are fighting is NEET. The governor very clearly saying that he will not pass NEET. He believes that the government's stand is anti-NEET. Absolutely, Aishwarya. And this time it was not DMK that had ignited this issue, but a parent called Amachi Appan who actually visited the governor's uh, Raj Bhavan that day uh, uh, where, as the governor has called in the parents whose children have succeeded in need. But here what happened is that this particular parent raised a question as to there is an issue over need and when will the governor sign the need. Immediately the governor said that he will be the last person to sign a bill that is against need. This is where the parent actually contradicted questioning that if the governor has said that in the state of Tamil Nadu for for all these years, there has been a proper structure of medical availability and everything. Why is there a necessity for need to be included? And this is where the governor started saying a lot of things. And the parent stated that without going for private tuition or coaching, a child cannot pass need that easy because questions are being asked from not being in a syllable. This is where the governor went ahead and said that everything is being asked from CBSE syllabus. And that turned out to be an issue where DMK weighed in claiming that the governor is acting like a person from the DMK era. And instead of saying that he is a signing authority only, DMK still calls him as nothing but a rubber stamp. Thank you, Pramod, for giving us all those details. It is the governor versus the government in the state of Tamil Nadu.